This is the lineage of prototypes the goddess to Spider-Man. Over here is the log, the really simple robot. A microcontroller up here, one degree of freedom. This pneumatic cylinder controls it. We were able to prove with this, we can take something that's roughly the size of a person and control its rate of spin in the air and how it lands. From this, we went to a stick man, a system that was more precision focused. We also made sure that we can throw this over and over and over again. From two degrees of freedom, we came up with a robot that's human size. When you see this move through the air and spin and then drop into a net, I think we can actually do a Spider-Man character. This figure is human size, about 5'9", 95 to 100 pounds made from printed 3D plastic, aluminum pieces where we need extra strength, we were able to emulate the different types of movements Spider-Man did in the movies. So that's Spider-Man in a nutshell, or in a web.